Starting off with this one here, uh, his name is Kojak and he is a North American uh, bald eagle. Now when we look at the world of the, uh, the daytime flying birds of prey, uh, we look at three design groups. And those three groups uh, we call a broad wing, a short wing and a long wing. Now broad wings uh, cover the big birds like the eagles and the vultures. Uh, short wings. They cover your, your, your woodland type of bird, uh, especially your hawks, such as goshawk and sparrowhawk. And uh, long wings, they are the fast birds, the falcons, uh, like lammer falcon, saker falcon, jerk falcon, and peregrine falcon. And we're quite looking forward to flying the falcon today because the wind is very nice. So what we have here with the bald eagle is a broad wing. He is a, obviously a, a big, big body bird, so he needs big, big, deep wings to have any chance of uh, lifting that big heavy body off the ground. The wings are so big, uh, flapping them, flying along uh, flat like this is very, very much hard work. Uh, uses up lots of uh, effort, lots of energy, uh, flapping the wings up and down. So this is a bird that uh, is very, very good on the hills, uh, where you get, uh, where I fly him in England, it's a steep valley and uh, the wind comes up and we chuck him off and he goes soaring and gliding around and uh, he can go up very, very high. He can go up one meter per second when he has got good lift going upwards. And uh, it's a good way for the bird to save lots of energy. Um, because uh, these big eagles, they need to save energy for when they catch their dinner. Uh, the bald eagle is a bird that uh, especially likes fish uh, for its dinner, such as trout and salmon, especially big salmon, like uh, chump salmon and sockeye salmon. Now the best way to kill a fish um, is to take it out of the water. Uh, I was at a school um, only last week and uh, we had all the children and I said come on children what is the best way to kill a fish? Think. What is the best way? I got the answers stab it, shoot it, blow it up, bash it on the head and uh, one of them said hit it on the head with a frying pan. I said bald eagles do not fly along with a frying pan doing this. Um, so uh, once they spot a big fish at the surface of water, uh, they drop out the sky. Now the bald eagle does not dive head first, uh, like, uh, like we may see the falcon do later. Um, they half close the wings and they, they parachute side to side, uh, cutting the wind from one wing to the other. And then the legs come down, come on in some. Uh, the legs come down and they come low over the water and then they thrust the feet down uh, and grab hold of the fish and that is when they need the big wings to power themselves and the fish into the air to the safety of dry land to feed. When they get the fish in the air, they have a quick look at it and then they turn their legs so that the fish is head on into the wind. So it's easier for the bird to fly with the fish in that manner. Uh, they do eat other things. The, the only bird of prey that eats just fish is the osprey. Uh, the bald eagle will eat a few other things like uh, rabbit, uh, hare, and uh, they will take ducks and they will also attack geese, geese, Canada geese. Now the bald eagle is uh, the emblem for the United States of America. Um, it's on their crest. Um, it has been since uh, 1782. But uh, um, they're always recognised as the American eagle with the white colour to the head and the white colour to the tail. Um, 
But not all the bald eagles have this colour, uh, because when they are younger, they are much darker. You may see some young bald eagles that fall from crest and bred over there, and they're very brown all over their body, including the brown feet and brown eyes. As they get older and more mature, then when they grow their new feathers each year through the bolt, more and more white starts coming through, and eventually, when they're six, they look like he does now. He's just turned seven years of age. And this is where we get the name bald eagle. People say to us in England all the time, does it go bald? Does it lose its feathers and stuff? No. It's from a, a, a word piebald, which describes the colours of black and white, like a magpie or pie and wagtail. And uh, the, a very old English word, bald, spelled B-A-L-D-E. Uh, it doesn't mean no hair, it means white. It describes white. So he's white-headed or bald-headed. We don't call it a white-headed, bald-headed, piebald, bald eagle. That's too much. Um, so well, that's where we get the name bald eagle from. Come on. Now, considering... Oh. I'm glad he stops. It's the, it's the look on your faces. Uh, um, considering it's uh, on the emblem for the, uh, the United States, they actually nearly made the bird extinct. Um, they, uh, they, they accuse the bald eagle of being in too many numbers and they accuse the bald eagle of eating sheep and uh, killing too many salmon and uh, the, the, the American government actually uh, started killing these. Uh, people were paid to kill the bald eagle and uh, in a period of just, uh, just over 30 years in America over 100,000 bald eagles were shot and people were paid for doing it and uh, the bird became a very, very endangered species um, down to just over 4,000 pairs in the whole of North America, which is very, very bad. Um, but fortunately, they're now a heavily protected species and their numbers have come back up and uh, they've been taken off the endangered species list, which is very, very good and very nice to hear in this day and age. Um, now, they are the biggest nest building bird of prey in the world. Um, we do have a female bald eagle and we put them together in a big enclosure earlier this year and they built a nest and a uh, big, big nest. The biggest nest of the bald eagle uh, was found in Florida in America and they build on it and make it bigger every year, year after year after year. And uh, eventually this big nest, it measured 18 feet across, it was 24 foot deep, it weighed two and a half tons and made the tree fall down. Um, and uh, they built a big nest and uh, she did lay two eggs, but unfortunately those eggs were not fertile. Those eggs were no good. It's your fault. So, so we're going to try again. If, he, if he's a, a bit older, um, hopefully we'll have the success of breeding the bald eagle. Let's have one more flight over there. And I'll call him back up here for one more flight. And then I'm going to show you another very, very special eagle. Go Jack, last one. Come on. That is the American Bald Eagle.